uh, how about a vlog? Let's see what I do in the next day or two. I get to speak tomorrow, so let's see what that prep's like and what a day in the life is like, I guess. I don't know. Come along. Okay, so I'm gonna run to the Starbucks because that's typically where I go like to work and also people watch. But I need to do Starbucks. I need to do a Guitar Center run because I need a lavalier mic for my recorder. Presenting tomorrow at a school, so I wanna record that, at least my audio. I like to record my speeches and go over it myself because it's kinda of like sports. You gotta go over the, uh, the film. And then I might go do some delivery, some favorite delivery, the little side stuff that I do for one or two hours, three hours, and then come back and finish prepping. So that's the plan for today's preparation. And you might get to come along. Let's see how much I get to film. But this is it. That's the plan. That's the go-to. And then it's going to lay over tomorrow to presentation, and hopefully you get to see some film for tomorrow. So let's go see what Starbucks has to say. So I need to stop at Guitar Center. I need a lavalier mic for my all of my ongoing new speaking events. Uh, I want to be able to capture audio and clean video, clean audio and clean video, so I can put them together and you know do speaker reels or marketing with it. But uh, let's go into Guitar Center, and I hope they have a good lavalier mic here for my recorder. <laughs> Center was a no go, so we're gonna forgo that for the best buy. But first of all, I'm gonna get some food. Okay, just wrapped up Hamilton Middle School. Had about a couple of 800, not 800, eighth graders, a couple hundred eighth graders, and um, it went really well. It was a good topic. They, were, they had a career day and they got to hear other professionals from other people speak about what they do. Uh, what I had to do was actually open up the day and then I got to close the day with them so I spoke twice to them and it was just interesting because I introduced them to body language if they've never heard about it for those who didn't but it was just a way to kind of recap on everything that no matter what profession they're in where they go they're gonna need some sort of soft skills or people skills so it was really good to get to reach out to the subject I didn't get to film anything throughout the day uh, I'll put up some Instagram stories I think that I might have gotten but I'll share that with you. But I got a gift right now walking out as a thank you. All the speakers did. Just look and I got other stuff. But this is a little box that actually opens up. And it has stationery. They really know how to cater to their speakers. Super excited about this one. And it closes back up. Let's go ahead first and um, uh, get comfortable. That's all I wanted to do. So, Hamilton Middle School. Got to talk to them today to a bunch of uh, eighth graders, which is that went really good. It was great to really do that type of presentation. That's the youngest I've actually ever presented to as far as uh, students. So. It was really good to get that information out to them. Thanks again to my friend Suzanne. Suzanne Wright is coach right there. She teaches and she coaches, um, and she's the one that introduced me to the principal. And then that got the ball rolling on how, how we could do that um, career day for the kids. So I basically got to open for them, and at the beginning, kind of just explain what body language was, introduce it to them. Then they went off and they were in different rooms and got to hear different careers and different other people and professionals speak on what they do, what their job entails, which is really interesting to hear. They had a bunch of, they were very diverse as far as the speakers that they had for 30, 20 minutes, they got to hear them. And then I got back to come back and then I had them for another 40, 30 minutes and uh, actually got to teach some body language things that they could use. Uh, it's going to be very important for them. So. They're the ones, the eighth graders, I think, are going to go into, you know, picking their curriculum, going into what they want to do in high school. So then that way, if they're thinking about their career or their future in college or wherever else they want to go do, that's what they're going to go pick. So it was just interesting. I really love getting getting a human being at that stage, that part of being so early as opposed to 
trying to teach someone as an adult as a professional where they think they have it figured out and they think they know uh, some bit of you know communications or they're good at whatever it is that they do leaders but being able to get a mind a person that young and actually the fact that just we're just introduced to body language at all some people may not know that it was a term that it's a thing um it's really good it's really fulfilling that my my cup is overflowing right now from that from today so excited to have done that today and i don't know it's it's you read this body language it's, it's really good to have uh gotten that crowd today um i got a lot more going this is i don't know if this is weird or not that's still trying to vlog and get going and uh, i'm for it and against it because i don't like having equipment out in front of me and filming in between live interaction so in here and there wherever i can i try to put something together between yesterday and today so let me know if you like this remember give me a thumbs up subscribe if you haven't there's other information i know i have other body language videos that i want to do so make sure you subscribe to the channel thanks for tuning in on this one and there's a lot more vlogs coming thanks again hamilton middle school thanks again suzanne and the principal kim for having me today um thank you